Hi, I'm Charlie Comstock with Model Railroad Hobbyist Magazine, and I'm here in the Cascade County narrow gauge layout with Dave Kloon. Yeah. So Have you ever had any desire to put sound in uh, buildings? Just fix sound effects? Well, I do have sound in one building, and that is the stamp mill has a sound light. Oh, great. So uh, Let's take a look at that. Okay. This is the uh, M&M Mining Company's Black Rock Concentrator. It starts by the uh, ore being brought in by one ton rolling buckets, cars, and dumped into a bin up here where it's crushed to size and then fed into some stamp, 20 stamps here. It's called a 20 stamp stamp mill and it uses a cyanide process to process the gold. The gold is crushed in the stamps and it goes through a pan that has mercury on it and it gets the larger pieces of free gold adheres to the mercury. The rest of it washes off the bottom of this plate there and is directed to a pump, a sand pump here, that pumps the slurry of crushed ore up to a separator inside this building here and it uh, separates the fines from the sand and the sand is separated out through a cyclone and uh, brought over to some outdoor uh, metal uh, tubs that uh, circulate and there's two of them and then the fines are sent to this wood tub here and it has air blowing through it, separates it and is mixed with a weak solution of potassium cyanide and then from there it is pumped to these various vats that over a period of time extract the gold ore. The <coughs> cyanide itself dissolves the gold and silver ore and it starts here, goes to the next one, goes to the next one and so on and so forth till it gets down to the last one and then it is extracted <coughs> the uh, pregnant liquor they call it the liquid is pumped to a gold tank here and is fed into a uh, building here that has boxes of zinc and the ore water uh, and everything pass over the zinc. The zinc absorbs the gold and silver whereas the water passes out and is returned to the uh, holding tanks within the mill recycled and uh, then the gold ore is held in these iron boxes of zinc and then about once a month they are taken out and they are cleaned in a vat of sulfuric acid. Now this is the same potassium cyanide and sulfuric acid they used to kill people with so you know that the people that worked here probably didn't enjoy a long life. So and that's the reason for this tall smokestack or vent is to vent off those fumes and uh, if this is a properly modeled and long-lived mill all the vegetation around here would be dead because of the gas. Anyway, after it's been washed in sulfuric acid, <coughs> excuse me, it is again pumped to a building here that has a dryer in it, and the dryer dries the ore, and it is put in cans and shipped out on the railroad. The cans are uh, about 80 pounds, and they're loaded in each end of the boxcar over the trucks to about 25 tons, and uh, are shipped to a uh, uh, further refining where they um, acid part the uh, silver and gold. Uh, the gold and silver are approximately 98% pure. And uh, that's uh, again this is the boiler room with the boilers, smokestack, 
and this is the gold room where they process the the ore I mean uh, the uh, gold ore into the buckets and ship it out and that's somewhat very abbrevi abbreviated the process of the gold ore. This uh, took about 10 years of research and about three years of construction. Do you believe that there's any such thing as a completed model railroad? I don't. I think there's probably always something to do. If nothing more, you can take the trees off and refinish re the scenery. You know, new techniques, new ideas. So I think there's lots to do on this layout, yeah. We're not done. <laughs> By a long way. So. so if you had any advice for uh, newcomers to the hobby, what would that be? You don't need a gymnasium. Like John Armstrong said, you know, for every square foot of, of bench work, it only takes an hour to build. For every square foot of scenery, it's ten. Ten hours to build. So you just figure your square footage and add ten to it. And that will give you a kind of an idea of what the, the building the scenery if you go to an acceptable level, of course. So, yeah. Well, thank you very much for having us, Dave. And it's been you. a real pleasure coming here and looking at this layout. And you obviously have more than an average level of craftsmanship <laughs> in you. Well, thank you very much for coming by, and uh, we'll go run some trains. Okay, great. All right. <laughs>